The Seattle Kraken hosting the Buffalo Sabres tonight and a lot of excitement as the Kraken launched their first NHL season. But some fans aren't familiar with the game and I've played hockey my entire life. So we're launching a series called Hockey 101 to help you understand the very basics. And today we focus on an essential piece of equipment, the hockey stick. This is a hockey stick, the lumber as they call it, but they're not made out of wood anymore. These are carbon composite fiber plastic coating and a lot lighter than they used to be. The blade is curved, which helps lift and guide the puck. And there are regulations as to how much curve a blade can have. The handle, most players tape up. I like to have a little bit of a grip. Caitlin does not. Some people like a knob on the end of the stick. Yeah. Others do not. We also put tape on the blades of our stick. Why do we do that? Uh, it's to help with the puck feel. And um, again, some people have said it's to, just, to hide the puck from goaltenders as well. Ah, you see, so I go with the black tape. <laughs> and I you went with the white. Yeah, <laughs> it blends in with the ice, apparently. I don't ah, know, I was told that when I was younger. <laughs> there you go. And you tape yours to the toe, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, just out of habit. You get used to what you like, and once you figure it out, you're really hard to change. And a lot of players will wax their blade as well, just so it slides better on the ice. It's why they call an accurate pass a tape-to-tape -tape pass. When the players handle the puck, it's called, yep, puck handling or stick handling. And when a player's puck skills are really slick, you might say he's dangling. Or maybe they pull off an elegant move, like a deke. You'd say they have great hands, or even better, silky mitts. And we will explore how players pass, shoot, and score with that stick next time on Hockey 101.